Welcome everybody, the Mad Rambo here. So we're all here because, well, we want to be able to use channel points, be able to join in on giveaways using a spin the wheel, all power through Lumia Stream. This is probably the most powerful tool for all streamers and it's just getting better and better. So this will be released in version 7.0, which you can get your hands on now with the beta update. Now there are other systems out there that can utilize channel points to be able to enter in on giveaways, but nothing as powerful as this. Nothing that has already got a plethora of different options for alerts, overlays, chat GPT, lights, every connection under the sun if you're a streamer. Call this a tier zero because this is just the first iteration of it. It will be improved on. And if you've got any features that you would like to be added to this, make sure you jump into the Lumia Streams Discord, which I'll leave a link below. Go into ideas and requests and chuck in your ideas and requests in there but you're here because you want to see this say i've just entered spin the wheel with some channel points and let's spin it there we go so we've got a nice spin the wheel we've got a nice alert that pops up showing who's just won so everyone can see and then we can just press one button and we can hide it all. So this is all powered through Lumia Stream. We've got a couple of buttons on the Stream Deck to make it easier for ourselves. But let's show you how to set this up and what other cool features and things you can do with it. So here we are in Lumia Stream. Now, most of us know what Lumia Stream is. If you don't, I will leave some links so you can check out some other videos that I've created, which will show you through the basics of Lumia Stream what it can do and some advanced features too. So the first thing we need to do is go into overlays because we need to create this. So I've already got one here, but we'll create a new one. We'll call this wheel one. We'll leave it at 1080p just for testing purposes for this video. Add new overlay and you'll take into this screen. So what you need to do is go to add layer, games. So they are planning on more games coming through, but at the moment it's just been wheel. And there it is, there's the basic spin the wheel. This is what you, everyone will be shown. So we have got all our settings on the right hand side. Now, the first thing we need to do is we need to clean this up so it's usable for what we want to use it for, which is giveaways. So we'll press content, we'll go to manage spin wheel. So there's automatically always something in here. So we wanna delete this. We'll get rid of that, save the spin wheel. Brilliant, so now it's empty. You can name your wheel whatever you want on the right hand side. You can have a subtitle on it and we can change the, the winning title. So that screen that came up saying Mad Rambo has won. This is where I've changed it. So take out item because the people who enter will be classed as an item, but we'll just say username has won. Now it's automatically always given an empty space with the camera. So here you want to get rid of this empty space unless you want to have lost segments on it. 20, 30, 100 people in on your wheel, but maybe you want to have 10 options that if it spins, it could land on better look next time or let people join in again. It's completely up to you, but what I do is take away this. So we want zero, brilliant. Now you can change all the colors and everything and this center circle, which is your spin. So you can press this and it will spin. Obviously it won't right now because we've got no names on it. So we can go to manage spin wheel again and we can go to wheel style so on here background color choose your background color for it your empty background color so if you do have empty spaces you can change it on here border color so we've got borders we can change the color there center button background so this is where this is moving that is your center button you can change the background for that and the winning item background you can change that the button image you can have an image a gif anything you want so let's Pick a game, for instance, Star Citizen. Maybe you've been given a sponsorship to give away a ship. You could put that ship in there. Make it a bit unique. Stand out from the crowd a bit. But we'll just save the spin wheel here. Not going to change anything on this. So on the bottom here again, you've got your spin duration. So you can set this to spin for as long as you want. I don't know the limits of it. Maybe you lot can test it out and let me know. We've got show image. So if you're using this wheel for something else, you can have images. Maybe you'll pick one person. That person will then spin your wheel and you can have multiple different 
things on there that people could win or maybe not win the first thing that comes into my mind is detox and his wheel of pain he's got multiple options on there and most of it is a wheel of pain but he could have images on there as well as text make it a little bit more fancier show name now if we are going to use this for channel points for people to be able to enter we want show name on because we want people's names to be on but you don't have to maybe you have got a lot of people joining in maybe the name will just make it too cluttered so you don't have to it will still show the name when you've won remove when redeemed maybe you've got multiple winners of giveaways so you can remove that winner and you can carry on spinning you don't have to reset the whole game show winning modal play sound effects which is the cheer and the spinning sound effects and show the spin button which obviously is in the center which we can just take that out if we really want to like i said empty spaces empty space text no look so that's the, the basics of your spin the wheel so that's the basics of the overlay and again we can make this bigger but we'll save that so you could have multiple spin the wheels set up for different things you could have them on the same overlay different layers name something different the choice is yours the world is your oyster as they say so we'll save that awesome so the next thing we need to do is we need to set up being people being able to join with channel points so we need to go into commands which is on the right hand side and we need to go to twitch points we're going to add a command so you'll be shown this which is again a new feature with 7.0 it's currently in beta as i've said which everyone can download but we're going to go to overlay actions and then you'll be shown this so type we're going to scroll down and we are going to go to spin wheel add item the people who join are classed as items overlay mine's on wheel one for this test layer wheel because that's what we've named it title so the title is username because that's the title of the items the items being your viewers image url we can press this variable button on this one as well maybe you want to show your viewers avatars so your viewers pictures on twitch so we can go to avatar so twitch the url of the avatar the sender's twitch message brilliant add action complete next step what are you going to name it we'll just put this as giveaway test how many points so how many twitch points do you want to set this to for people to join now later in the video i'll do a breakdown of how many points a viewer could earn per hour and how many points a subscriber could earn per hour which might give you a, a better understanding if you are new to twitch points a better understanding of how much would a viewer be able to earn how much should i set this up for because maybe you're only going to be running this over one day so you need to be able to give people a chance to join but for this we will leave this as a 100 next step duration don't worry about that let's bring that down delay we don't need a delay now this bit here this is user level who do you want to be able to join in on your giveaway user is you mods vips and you've got your subs regulars followers and anyone for most giveaways that we all see everyone's got to be at least a follower so we'll take off anyone but maybe you've got special giveaways lined up for just your mods you maybe want to treat your mods or maybe people have to be a subscriber but remember subscribers already also get more points more points per hour than a just a normal follower so we're going to go complete and save because we want people to be a follower you can change your user level at any time you can go back into the command and change it all anyway complete and save brilliant refresh so is with everything make sure we refresh it and also if you want everyone to see what someone's just redeemed you can go into the chat bot enable the chat bot and say username who's just pressed the channel points has redeemed your giveaway command for x amount of points and you could put in more go into channel points for your chance to join in on the giveaway you could have things pop up so a hood effects different overlays anything you want maybe to showcase that you've got a giveaway going on when someone redeems it the possibilities are endless whatever you think that you may want to happen or to show off that you've got a giveaway running you can do it all through lumia stream now we want to be able to show our wheel without having to go on obs or anything like this the first thing which i forgot to mention is in the wheel click your edit button again we're going to need the url because we need to be able to put this as a browser source within your obs because that's how your obs will see this and how your viewers will see this so copy url and we're going to add a browser source we'll call this wheel one okay you're going to see a 
box right now but we'll paste that in there with 1920 by 1080 because that's what we set this up on the lumia overlays press ok and you can see there we've got another wheel but we need to be able to show and hide this so we'll close back out of this we need to go back into commands we need to make a couple of commands to be able to show this off and hide it so chat commands so we're in our commands we need to go to add command and again we want an overlay action the type it is set layer visibility the overlay one's wheel one wheel we want this set to on so press this add action complete next step what name do you want to give it so any name that you give this will automatically populate with an exclamation mark within your commands if you want one without an exclamation mark you would have to name it anyway but you can add an alias which doesn't require an exclamation mark so we'll just just type this as show one because we've already got a show we don't want anyone else to see this in your command page so we'll tick that off next step duration let's bring this down again the user level the user level is who is going to be able to activate this command well i only want to do it and i only want my mods to be able to do it so we're going to take everyone else off because i don't want this being pinged up all the time complete and save as with every command refresh now we need to make another command overlay action again set layer visibility wheel one wheel and we're going to leave that as set to off add action complete next step and we're going to say hide one for myself next step again i only want me and my mods to be able to trigger this take duration down complete and save refresh and then we're going to be able to want to spin it so we're going to go to add command we're going to overlay actions again type this one's slightly different it is send game trigger so the only game at the moment within lumia is the spin the wheel so send game trigger what game are you triggering on what overlay again so again it's wherever it is mine's on wheel one and wheel target username is playing the game that's fine username add action complete next step and we're going to call this one spin one for my own purposes but you could just leave this as spin next step again we only want me and the mods to be able to trigger this complete and save refresh so now if we press test on show one there's our wheel now to test whether people can join or not we need to go into our twitch points so if remember we set up the giveaway test and the channel points so we are going to go to our channel points on twitch we are going to press giveaway test so we can test this out redeem there we go I've just popped up there is me and then if we go to chat commands if we test the spin and there we go we can see it's working brilliant now the issue with how we've just done it here is if you set this up for a low twitch points value someone could join it multiple times but there is an option for this so if we go back into our twitch point we're going to give away test we'll edit this and you will see at the top here points options so we'll press this now on here you can set only once per stream so we've got maximum number of times anyone can redeem per stream we can leave it at zero for unlimited or just one this top one means only one person can ever enter per stream which is good for other commands that you may have but we want to concentrate on this one the maximum number of times a user can redeem per stream so we're going to set this as one apply refresh so what this one does is enable say me the mad rambo joins in on your channel you've got a giveaway running i already know you i've already got some points i'm going to press redeem awesome i'm in on the spin the wheel and now i'm going to try and redeem it again it's going to come up saying no you can't do this you've already redeemed maximum times this stream if you end your stream and start a new stream up it'll refresh those people will still be on there and they can join again which is useful if you are running a long giveaway maybe you're running a giveaway over a month for a big item and you can give the option for people to join in multiple times depending on how much it costs for them to join in using their twitch points does that make sense if any of this at any point doesn't make sense please feel free to reach out and i will try and explain as much as i can do on a personal level whether that's leaving a comment on youtube find me on discord send me a message there or find me on the lumia stream discord you can also find me on twitter there is only one problem with this right now as we speak 
which will most likely be changed in the future. But I can't say I don't work for LumiStream. I'm just there as a user. Yes, I'm an affiliate. I'll try and help out as much as I can. I give out my feedback and possible changes that could be needed. But for this wheel, if we go back into it, we can set a command up to reset the wheel, which would do this. Reset the game but it will bring the users back on, okay? That's fine if you want to be able to spin that wheel again with the same users. To get rid of them, you can again set a command up to remove people from it, but you have to remove them one at a time. We can go into manage spin wheel and we can delete them manually on here. But if you've got hundreds, maybe even thousands, I don't know, on your giveaways, it's going to take a long time. So my advice to everyone out there is literally delete the spin wheel, confirm, add it again, have a quick setup content. We know what we've already set up. Maybe you want to write these down, take this one off, manage it, delete this, save the spin wheel, change your colors or whatever you else got on there, change your middle button. It's called spin wheel one. Brilliant. We'll close this down. But we're going to have to go back into the commands now. You've probably only set four, three chat commands, one Twitch point command. You just got to go into the edit button, overlay actions, the pen button again. It's on, it will always be on the same overlay. If you're not deleting the overlay, just deleting the layer. We'll just press the layer, press the only option that you might have there. So spin wheel one, save refresh we're doing this on all of them i won't for this video but you will get what i mean save apply refresh now if we test this there we go it's working instantly no names are on there and i find this probably the quicker way if you are needing to change this than deleting all of the names we can go back into here overlay actions for your twitch points again just change the layer press the drop down button and press that layer it might be named the same thing that's fine but just save it and everything's saved for you it takes a few seconds if you remember your your main settings for within the overlay if you've got more unique styling going on it might take a little bit longer but rest assured this does work exactly how it's intended exactly how we've set it up on the video for you but i think this is a, a really good way of getting your community to join in like i said you can set different levels on it so people can only be a follower maybe you want to run a sub giveaway maybe you only want to give away to your mods or maybe you just want everyone to join in whatever you choose it'll work exactly how you choose it to work but i really do think this will end up being one of the best giveaway systems on twitch it's simple and easy to set up and change so i also did say how many twitch points people could earn okay so for someone to follow your channel they would get 300 points if they cheered it's 350 per first cheer first subscription gift is 500 points participating in a raid they'll get 250 points and watch streak two three four and five go up in 50 point values and it starts at 300 so that's the extra that, that they could earn in your channels and these are set by twitch we can't change these values viewing the stream hourly they'll get 120 points the click to claim bonus so you get a little icon at the bottom people click it per hour they can earn another 200 points then we've got the multiplies if you are subscribed so if you are tier one subscription it is times 1.2 if you are tier two it is times 1.4 and if you're tier three it's times two so this is hourly you can work these out based on how long you're going to be running the giveaway for how easy you want people to join in on your giveaways but i hope this helps to help you organize how much you want it to cost for people to join your giveaways if this has helped you out as well as the other videos please consider dropping a like and a subscribe it would really help me out and share this video to your friends and your other streamers but i have been the mad rambo have fun may lots of people win in the future for your giveaways and we'll see you in the next video